Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, I'll show you how to build the temple terrain from Tabletop Scenics. This is part of a huge range they do on their website, and I'll show you a little bit more about that later on in the video, but they've kindly sent me out all these awesome sets to use in my upcoming Age of Sigmar tournament. So really cool that they're sponsoring the channel and the tournament with their terrain. I can't wait to get it all built and incorporated into some really fun theme tables. And I'll let you know more about the tournament later on as well. But in this video, I'll be showing you how to build this terrain and just going through the whole process from the building instructions down to the different glues you can use and things like that. And the temple will be the example piece I use, but I will be making lots of other videos because I do want to make a big deal out of all these really cool sets because this is going to be one of the main tables at the event. And I thought it would be fun to share the whole process with you from getting them all built individually and then putting them together on the table, painting them as well. So all that's going to follow over the next few weeks. But let's focus on this set, the Temple, and this is going to be combined with the Timber House set and the Fantasy Keep set on another table along with some hills that I'm making as well. And just these three sets alone is going to give us seven really nice pieces of terrain for an Age of Sigmar full-size board. And I'll go through all the prices later on so you can see it. But let's get started with the build and we'll use the Temple as the example for the rest of this video. Now this is going to be a pretty straightforward set to put together. There's only a few sheets that we're going to have to use and this is all pre-cut. You literally just pop it out and then glue it together. And then you can see here it's got Tabletop Scenics logo. It tells you the level of difficulty and the time. And this is all made by TT Combat who are based in Cornwall, the same as me. So really cool to be collaborating with a fellow Cornish tabletop gaming company. Really excited about that. All right, let's get it open then. And the first thing you're going to notice when you do open these, any laser cut MDF sets like this, it's going to be the smell. You've got a slight wood burn smell. So it smells like you've been camping a little bit once you've got a good few sets on the go. And it probably pays to wear gloves as well if you don't want fingerprints on it because some of the, the burnt wood does come off on your fingers a little bit. But here you can see we've got four sets to play with here and most of the pieces just pop out really easily. You can see it's just like laser cut in there. There's not a lot of texture going on here. This is just to give you the look of it. So you're gonna to wanna to get that texture going with some painting techniques later on, but I'll be covering that in later videos. But look how easy that is. It just pops out, very straightforward. Sometimes you have to run a little scalpel blade in there or just use your nails even just to push the little bits that are holding it in place. But otherwise it just comes out really easy. But take care, because you don't wanna to be too rough with it because some of the finer bits could snap if you start really trying to force it out. But once you, you've got all the pieces ready, you're gonna need the instructions. So you don't get any in the actual pack, and this is where you're gonna to have to head over to the TT Combat website, and you can have a look at their awesome miniatures. They're behind a bunch of really cool games, but it's the Tabletop Scenics that we're gonna focus on here. And so I'll just scroll down. I'll click on Fantasy Realms, because all the pieces I've got come from that. And there's so many here to choose from. It's an awesome range that they have. And the prices are so reasonable as well. Here you can see the temple. This is going to be priced at £14. And there's some really nice images of whatever terrain piece you have a look at. You have good angles all around. They come in different layers. And then they get this cool graphic that just shows you a 360 view as well. And then I really like how they put the dimensions on there. So you, you know exactly how much room this is going to take up on the table. Now, once you go into your chosen piece, once you've bought it, you can scroll down and you can see there's a download button for the instructions. And then this, first of all, you're going to be greeted with this. And this is going to tell you how long each piece will take and the difficulty. And you can see here, this is going to be pretty easy and it's going to be pretty quick. And each set that you buy will have a different color and a different time level. And then once you start going into the bigger sets, they're going to take a bit longer, be a little bit more difficult, right up to this awesome Savage Domain Midnight Tower that is a real good, solid project. It's going to take you a good few hours, that one. And then here it's got some other instructions that you might see as you work your way through. And then it's got all its tips for using the different glues. PVA is recommended. You can also use super glue. I'm using Gorilla Wood Glue that you'll see later on. I love that stuff and I think it's brilliant. I've used it in loads of other projects outside of the hobby from building camper vans to all sorts of DIY things around the house. But back to our instructions here, I just scrolled down, found the temple, clicked on the download button and then you get a PDF 
then to view on your screen. You can download and keep it and it's got down all the different sections and really nice and clear, very crisp and you really know exactly what you're doing at each stage of the build. That was something I was really impressed with. I built some other MDF products, some other companies, I'm not going to name them, but sometimes the instructions weren't too clear. And what I found with TT Combat is the instructions are really well done. Also, the little elements when you build the models aren't so fiddly. There's not so many tiny little fragile pieces. And I think you're really going to appreciate that when it comes to storage. Let's get on with the build now though. And you can see I'm just using my little file tool to poke out any little windows or little pieces that don't belong, like in the slots that you glue it together. And then I'm just going to find the different parts I need from the different sheets. They're not numbered, but they don't need to be. This is such a simple build. The instructions are so clear. You can really tell which piece you're going to use. And on the instructions as well, you can really see what side of the, the piece you need to position in a certain way. So for example, with the door, you can see that the printed side of that needs to be facing in a certain direction. Now I'm going to start to build this first section on page one and I'm just going to piece it together first so I know exactly where every part goes. Also make sure it fits nice and snug too. If it's a little bit too tight you can always just file it a little bit and I've only had to do that a couple of times during this whole build so it really is built with some precision in mind. And here's the glue I use, Gorilla Wood Glue. This stuff is fantastic. It sets pretty quick and it says on the bottle if you clamp it it's 20 to 30 minutes. You don't need to clamp this terrain though and then leave it 24 hours to fully cure and then the glue will be stronger than the wood itself which I think is an awesome claim and I can certainly vouch for that after using it a lot. Now I've done the thing where I'm just using it straight out of the nozzle here. It could be a good idea to put it in a little pot maybe and be a, use a little cocktail stick or a little spreader, a little coffee stirrer or something to get it a bit neater. Uh, but I'm happy with this. It's going to be fine. I'm not going to see everything in the corner. When it dries, it's going to shrink and be a bit clearer too. And then I'm going to paint over it after all. I'm going to rough it up with some rubble and extra things when I do get to the painted stage. But here you can see I'm using those lines on my board so I can make sure I get the right angles just as it starts to set. And then again, it's 20 to 30 minutes for this to actually hold in place nicely. And after 10 minutes, you really start to see it get in there. So I'll just do one little stage at a time. And while it's still set and still wet, I'll carry on and glue the other parts to this too. So I'm not doing one section, waiting 20, 30 minutes, moving on to the other. I'm literally doing it all while it's still wet. And then you can see here, this is one of the times where I did use the file just to work away some of the little bits left over. You could also use the little scalpel knife too and scrape away. And now I've done all of this, again, using those lines to line it all up, make sure you get all the right angles. And this glue now is wet all the way around and all these pieces, but I've managed to assemble all this and put it to one side while I move on to the next section. And by the time I finished the other section and went back to it, this is pretty solid. And so I could put on all the beams like these parts as well. And I'll do the same with this and just keep going, working through all the different layers. And before you know it, you're finished. This took, what, about an hour to get this done? So it didn't take long at all. I put a documentary on about crop circles of all things. And then I was able to get this finished and ready to go. And then overnight, this will be solid. But even after an hour, this is fine. I'm able to show you here how the layers go on top of each other. The grooves fit really nice and snug. And then you can layer it all up. You could, could glue it all in one piece if you wanted to. But having the option to take the lids off and work your way in the different levels is really fun. Especially for games like Dungeons and Dragons and other skirmish games as well. But here's the finished piece. Looking really good on the table. It's massive. It certainly didn't take long to get such a big piece. And I'm really happy with the quality and the ease of build. This came out really well. Give you an idea of the size. Here's one of my Stormcast Eternal models next to it. And then you can see you can even pop one on the top if you wanted to. But I think the fun's really going to come when you play other games with this as well. Because you can take the lids off, hide some miniatures in there, maybe some treasure chests if your models are going to go around there and the players are going to be looking for different things. This would even be good in a zombie game. I could certainly imagine this working. Um, no problem at all. The size is perfect. So if, yeah, if you're into all different skirmish games, different RPGs, I think this terrain is going to be great for it. But for me, the main purpose at the moment is for my Age of Sigmar tournament. And so having one solid piece is going to be really cool for that. Could even make this maybe a garrisonable piece of terrain. That might be an option. But I think the keep is going to be really good for that. And this would be more of something that you, you can't go over. You have to go around it unless you can fly, of course. 
But there we go, that's this awesome Temple Terrain by TT Combat Tabletop Scenics. I'm really happy with how this turned out. I'll get this Timber House set made next and then the Fantasy Keep which has got two parts in it and then we're going to have seven nice pieces for a tabletop which I think is a really economical way to do it. It's really fun to build and you're going to have some awesome looking terrain with lots of playability across all different tabletop skirmish games and RPGs. I hope you enjoyed the video and hope it gave you a good idea about how easy it is to put this stuff together. I think once I go on to the Savage Domain Midnight Tower, it's going to get a little bit more fiddly, a bit trickier, but I'll certainly cover that in another video so you can see it all coming together nicely. And look out for other videos where I get all this painted as well, so there's lots more to see from this awesome range. And a massive thank you again to TT Combat down in Cornwall for sending me out all these awesome terrain sets and for sponsoring the event. And if you'd like to find out more about the event, I'll tell you more about it at the end of the video. But for now, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did like it, please hit the like button. It'd be great if you check out the link below that will take you to the TT Combat website. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I look forward to seeing you here next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. But now on to the TTSG Southwest Age of Sigmar tournament info, which is going to follow right now. Are you a Warhammer fan in the southwest of England? The TTSG Age of Sigmar tournament is coming to Cornwall and we want you to be a part of it. This is your chance to show off your strategy, skill and passion for the game. You'll receive a gift bag, fantastic prizes and trophies, tasty food available all day and a tournament pack with all the information you need. Join us and compete against players from all over the region, meet new friends, share tactics and witness epic battles as you compete for the championship title. Don't miss out on this opportunity to be part of an awesome community and battle for ultimate glory. Register now and we can't wait to see you there. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters for helping me to keep going with these regular videos. I couldn't do this without you and I appreciate your support so much. If you'd like to join the Patreon community, support the channel, get some great perks at the same time, there's a link down below in the description. It'll be awesome to see you there.